सी एन ई न्यूज एटीन शिवानी गुप्ता स्पीक्स टू फॉर्मर कैनेडियन डिप्लोमैट कॉलिन रॉबर्टसन ऑन इंडिया एंड कैनेडाज डिप्लोमैटिक राव एंड ऑन इंडियाज मूव टू रिपेट द कैनेडियन डिप्लोमैट्स नाउ ही सेज दैट इट वुल नॉट हेल्प द सिचुएशन टू सेंड डिप्लोमैट्स बैक इन मेनी केसेज देर इज नो पैरिटी इन हाउ मेनी डिप्लोमैट्स आर देर इन ईच कंट्री ही ऑल्सो सेट दैट देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ फैमिलीज इन इंडिया हु नीड diplomatic assistance and this will only impact people to people ties listen in to this exclusive conversation Colin Robertson thanks a lot for speaking to CNN news 18 uh, you're a former canadian diplomat you have served in the us and hong kong and other places i want to begin by uh, by asking you about the recent standoff between india and canada now india had made it clear uh, at the start of this fight that they do want parity to be maintained as far as the number one uh, number of diplomats in each country is concerned and they wanted canada to re- reduce its uh, strength here and post that what has come to light is that they have given an october 10 deadline for canada to take back as many as 40 diplomats how do you see this india's demand to maintain parity and uh, the fact that uh, canada the canadian prime minister has now said that they will do private talks with india on this yes well i i don't think it makes any sense the whole point of having diplomats in a country is to expand the relationship they are the persons who are supposed to solve problems we're in the midst of a big problem right now for from a canadian perspective about 5% of our population has roots in india and so there's a number of canadians who have indian citizenship living in india who often want consular support there's also a large number of indians who want to come to canada either to visit family or to immigrate or our biggest source of foreign students are indians and so a lot of the people at our embassy are there processing the visa forms to enable indians to come to canada we have very strong people to people ties and these will endure but if you remove the diplomats it's going to make it much more difficult for indians to be able to uh, to come to canada to see family or to study or just to visit but don't you think that this we have come to this pass purely because the canadian prime minister mr made such a public allegation against india and uh, you know this is one of the ways for india to say that that was not right and they're asking for parity to be now uh, done right except i think that you know for example there's a lot more chinese diplomats in canada than there are chinese canadian diplomats in china there's many more mexican diplomats in the united states than there are american diplomats in the united states that's not how countries operate i've never seen this happen before using this as a means to, to leverage you know you are more familiar with trade sanctions or some form of economic sanction but not throwing out the diplomats because the diplomats are supposed to be the problem solvers so i find this very curious and probably quite unhelpful in the long term for what has been a very strong relationship i i uh, grant you that our prime minister made allegations which he has not substantiated and i understand why the indian government is so unhappy i mean if if you point it, put up wanted posters of canadian diplomats we'd be very unhappy as well i think the uh, our foreign minister said this was unacceptable and the indians have replied well do something about it and i think that's a fair claim but i think removing the diplomats is not the way to solve this overall on justin trudeau's allegations uh, a lot of water has uh, you know flown under the bridge since those allegations were first made publicly do you get a sense that justin trudeau's administration is now realizing that maybe uh, they didn't quite deal with this the best way given india's response and the outrage over the khalistani elements in canada and they should have done this privately what they're now saying they will do with india uh, i think there's probably a lot of 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 rethinking and because things have not turned out the way i think the government the canadian government hoped it would the initial mm. effort i think after the prime minister statement was to try to deescalate that has not happened and so i think we the canadian government is now having to rethink how it does business but again i come back to the point that to do business you have to have diplomats they're the intermediaries they're the messengers and we are in a difficult situation we should be able to work this out uh, so i i'm not sure how this is going to end i i certainly the those who want to expand trade with india who want to uh, visit india are uh, 
are quite unhappy right now because, of course, India is not granting visas to any Canadians wanting to come to Canada. Mm -hmm. I don't think this mm -hmm. is the th th this is a useful way to try and resolve this. I think the pressure on the Canadian government to take action against uh, those who have targeted Indian diplomats in particular is is a fair point, and and the Canadian government should react to that. Uh, we are, of course, a country of immigrants, and uh, we have. We, we we probably uh, are more liberal in our approach to freer speech than most other countries. This brings with it problems, as we certainly are now uh, encountering with uh, with India and the concern over uh, Khalistan and uh, Sikh independentists.